Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Who is ready to Rick's Flicks and Relax at Cabana Bay and Volcano Bay? So we're going to head to the room right now. I'm going to show you the room first. Waiting for Nikki to get here. And once she gets here, then I'll show you the rest of the resort. And quite honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to break this up into two videos. One for Cabana Bay, one for Volcano Bay. Or if I'll just combine the two. We'll have to see as I go throughout the day. And here we go into our room. A standard bayside room at Cabana Bay. So here we have the front entryway. To our left will be the bathroom. Hey Rick, how you doing? Um, it's got the funky like 60s era design mirrors. Everything very 60s looking. There's your vanity. Drawers to keep your stuff in. This one is a standing shower. A little bit of a tile design there. Pretty roomy. You know, me and Nikki could be in there together getting ready, I guess. And then to the right of the entryway is the closet. Iron. Little shelf up top. The safe is back here too. Back that way, right there. There's the safe you can use. And now on to the bedroom section of the standard room. Cool blue wall. We've got the blue bedding to match. Again with that funky 60s looking design. Light fixtures, of course. Mid 60s looking in the artwork. There's the two beds we have for this day. And then over to the other side is your TV stand. There's your television, your drawers to put your stuff in. You know, good size, pretty deep drawers. Multicolored. This is the fridge. There's your little mini fridge. Keep your beverages and whatnot cold, a little chilled in there. Here's the area where you can have your coffee, make your coffee in the morning. A 60s era lamp. A little sitting table over here. Big light above it. Have your, make your coffee over here. Sit down, have a morning chat. Give you another panning view of the room. There, there's a good shot. Shows you the color scheme and the uh, art features and the lighting features. Oh, here is the nightstand. Something cool about the nightstand. So you have a, an open cubby there, a drawer down there, your telephone. The remote control comes wrapped when you first get into the room. Uh, but the cool thing, there is your alarm clock. Very analog, very 60s, right? So it's very cool they have that analog alarm clock for you, but they are prepared for modern technology. Plug your phones in there, right there. Your USB ports. But what you guys really want to see, I paid extra for the room with a view of Volcano Bay. So let me take a moment and pull back these curtains for you guys. And here is the grand reveal. Volcano Bay right outside our window. Look at that volcano. What a view indeed. 
paid a little extra for this. I'll leave the information on the room in the description. Um, I'm a pass holder, so I paid $114 a night, and I think that's before taxes. But I'll, I'll leave information on this uh, in the description box. But yes, we did want the room with the view of the volcano. Beautiful, beautiful. And what a beautiful day, finally. We've been postponing this trip to Volcano Bay because the weather's been bad, but not anymore. And I can see they're turning on the waves. I think the park just opened. The water park just opened today. Just, I mean, just like right now at, what time was it on the clock over there? The good thing about this room or staying at Cabana Bay is they have a direct access to Volcano Bay. I don't have to take the buses or anything. We can walk straight from the resort into Volcano Bay with our Volcano Bay tickets. I'll kind of give you one more sweeping panning view of the room. This is standard. Usually we would get the, the suite, the one that has the little kitchen nook and everything, uh, because typically we would stay here for a birthday party for my girls and they would be their friends so we'd have the bigger room with the kitchen and everything but since it's just the two of us we got the smaller room but we splurged we treated ourselves to this view so what do you guys think of the room yeah it's not a luxury hotel so you're not going to get the free express passes but people ask me about where we like to stay or a good place to stay and I've done reviews on some of the newer hotels, but this one has been here for a while, so I haven't done it. But this is our favorite place to stay. It's a good value, you know, it's got a good price point. Uh, the resort is, you know, the hotel is beautiful. The rooms are very nice. We love the 1960s decor. And you get a room with a view, it's worth it. Now the other view is like a poolside view. Um, so not as, you know, not as fan, you know, you don't have the volcano, but still a good view if you want to save a few bucks, get that poolside view. But uh, when I treat yourself, check out this volcano. Yep, more people coming in. It's 9.35, so they must have opened the park today, Volcano Bay at 9.30. Tons of people coming in, gonna have fun. But we're gonna be there tomorrow. We're going there tomorrow to continue this vlog to show you what Volcano Bay is like here in June of 2020. I am waiting on Nikki to get here so I can show you the rest of the resort, uh, but while I'm hanging out in the room by myself, I turned on the TV just to let you guys know they are looping information regarding your stay during this time frame of uh, 2020, the COVID-19 uh, situation and everything. They are looping information regards to that to steps they are taking, to new procedures. Um, so if you're not quite sure how things are going to work when you get here, uh, they do have that informational loop on your television set. One more point of order. As you walk through the lobby, when you first enter the lobby, there is a medical check, a temperature check. Uh, if you check out okay, they give you a wristband for the day. Uh, this is good for all day. Now I will need to get another one in the morning, uh, and then the wristband would be a different color uh, but that's the procedure. As soon as you walk in the lobby, get that temperature check and get your wristband. Here's some more information as I'm waiting on Nikki. Um, we're only staying one night, but if you're staying multiple nights and you want your room serviced, uh, they will need you to be out of the room for about three hours. Uh, so the best thing to do is, like if you're going to the water park or going to the theme park, let them know then that you want your room serviced. But as for now, let's pan over and see the view I'm enjoying watching TV, watching the volcano. Watching TV, watching the volcano. And here is Nikki. What do you think? Oh my God, it is awesome. It's so cool. <gasps> wow, this is incredible. This view is amazing. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to go to Volcano Bay tomorrow. But this view though, oh my goodness. How much was this room? I paid $114. Um, really? I think that's before tax, uh -huh. and that's with my discount of being an annual pass holder. 
I'm gonna put all the information in the description. Okay, perfect. After I see the printout of everything. So. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been wanting to go to Volcano Bay for what? Like months now? Yeah. So I'm so stoked. But look at this view. This is incredible. And we finally have some good weather with that tropical uh, system out of the way now. Yes, yes. That's what was delaying us coming here. Yeah, ex yeah, because we don't have annual passes to Volcano Bay, so um, buying the ticket, we want to make sure that we get a full day's work. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll let you relax a little bit. Go find our daughter who's down at uh, one of the pools. Yeah. And, uh, and then when you're ready, I think we'll pick up the vlogging at the very start of the hotel with the lobby and everything. So, Perfect. all right. Awesome. See you in a bit, guys. And here we are at the entry of Cabana Bay. As you can tell by the decor, the artwork, this is based on like uh, the 1960s. So if you're familiar with the TV show on AMC called Mad Men, yeah, you might run into Don Draper here. It won't be me. I am severely underdressed to look like Don Draper. And look what they have parked out front here. Sort of adds to the ambiance of the hotel. They have several, what? So like four or five different classic cars parked out front. So awesome. They look fantastic. Really capture the essence of the hotel. Yeah, I can see Don Draper uh, driving around at least one of these. Yeah, look at this old Ford here. I'm ready to go on vacation in this sucker. Very nice, but now let's move on to the lobby of Cabana Bay. One of the main features in the lobby is the center here that has these four palm trees. Very lovely, very Florida. Here is the front desk. Very nice tile work and the, uh, the lighting features on there look very cool, very 60s-ish. The seating in the lobby, of course, goes with the 60s motif. The Swizzle Lounge, not open right now, but uh, that is one funky uh, light feature right there. So there are two pools here. Now, this is the pool right outside of the lobby. It's the one with the slide. They currently do not have this pool open. The other pool, closer to the tower I'm standing, will be open, and we'll show you uh, that in more detail later. We'll give you one last sweeping view of the lobby before we exit and move on. What do you think of the lobby, Nikki? So gorgeous, I love it. It's just... Takes you back in time. It does, yeah, it's like stepping out of your own world. It's awesome. It was nice as we first walked in, they were playing music from Dirty Dancing, which of course is also set in the 60s. Right before we leave the lobby, they do have a vacation planning center and a universal gift shop which is very similar to the Universal Store, other than they will have merchandise in here that is specific to Cabana Bay. So just like your typical Universal Store, there'll be sections for different things, like currently I am showing you the Harry Potter section, and uh, we'll go ahead and show you one of the specific Cabana Bay items you can get here. So for $25, you have your Cabana Bay t-shirt. This is the back. Also for $25, the Cabana Bay towels, and for $15, Pretty cool looking Cabana Bay mugs. I might want one of these, quite honestly. And for $55, Nikki has found a hoodie she wants. Hmm, I think I'm spending enough on this staycation. And what else have you found? Because you know how I am about ornaments. I love yes. ornaments. That's what, 19? 19 bucks for a Cabana Bay Christmas ornament? Yeah, it's so cute. $40 for this rash guard to go swimming in. I don't like long sleeve rash guards though. I like the short sleeves. This is not a shopping vlog. Let's move on. I know. I could spend so much money in there. They're, I mean, just like the color scheme of, of all their like merchandise is just so adorable. Yeah, there were several of the Cabana Bay themed merchandising items that she really liked. Yeah, I, I probably could spend as much as we spent on the hotel room just in here. <laughs> and I will admit, the stuff was pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. Next to the store, the gift shop, there is a Starbucks and a set of stairs. I think we will travel up the stairs and see what's happening up there. Yeah. Here on the second floor, we do have the Galaxy Bowling Alley. So your family can go bowling. I think this opens from five until midnight. I'll put the camera up to the window, get a better look inside of the bowling alley. Uh, what's the rates on this thing, Nick? $10.99 per guest um, for about 45 minutes. Okay. 
during this uh, particular time frame that we're living in here in uh, the summer of 2020, they are requiring face masks to do your bowling. You know what? If you want some more information about the Galaxy Bowling Alley, try to scan this QR code on your screen. See if you can find out any more information. They have a trophy case here for the bowling alley. Get your, when you have a bowling trophy, and check out the bowling shirt, which is on sale, or they do sell it in the gift shop down on the first floor. And how much is that bowling shirt, Nikki? $65. 65 bucks. I don't think it costs that much in the 60s. Maybe they're, they're keeping the 60s uh, theme by pricing it in the 60s. Holy. The Jack LaLanne Fitness Studio. Does anybody else remember Jack LaLanne? You can't get more old school than Jack LaLanne. Seriously, and they sell a shirt in the gift shop too that has his like uh, dates that he was on TV. Really? Yeah. And if you're wondering, yes, the fitness studio is open if you want to get a little workout in on your vacation. Um, typically it's open for 90 minutes and then they close it for 30 minutes for extra cleaning. And we have used this uh, fitness center before while staying on vacation here. Yes, I highly recommend you use uh, workout gloves because the weights there are the grips on them are super like rough <laughs> yeah they're really grabby so you can grab on yeah so if you're gonna come and work out uh bring your gloves yeah. <laughs> but it's a great studio it's awesome oh it's jack Lee lane of course it's awesome yeah also on the second floor next to the bowling alley is a game room so uh maybe working out's not your thing or maybe uh bowling's not your thing want to play some video games yeah they got those two the bay liner diner there's four or five different types of food you can get in here. Let's go inside and show you what you can get. They have hot off the grill, where you can get hamburgers and hot dogs, cheeseburgers, stuff like that. Enjoy a world of taste. They have international eats. Get something from across the world. Uh, and of course, they do have a pizza and pasta place. They have a grab and go section for just quick food. And um, a deli, where you can get wraps, sandwiches, and soups. Change of plans. Gotta learn to pivot when you're vlogging. As we were doing the resort tour, ran into some of you guys who are staying in the suite room. So we'll we'll pause the, the, the resort tour for a moment, get to the pool in a moment, but first we wanna show you what the suite looks like. Now, as you first walk into the suite, we walk into this little what, kitchenette, would you say, Nikki? Yes. Hiding behind the door there. Come on in, it's okay. Uh, now this one has a microwave, Sorry, it has a microwave, a bigger fridge, it's got a sink over there, still has the cool uh, 60s uh, design. Got a little bar, so you can have a little breakfast at the bar here, right there. So that is your kitchenette, is that the proper terminology, Nikki? Yes. Um, and then to the other side of the kitchenette is your living area. We have a couple chairs, you have a sofa there, which uh, I believe is a pull-out bed as well. We've got the funky 60s artwork there. Cool lighting feature. Your television with this half wall, which is so 60s. If anything is 60s, it's that wall. Uh, as we move closer or further in the room to the right, have the bathroom area again. Very similar to what our room is like, except the loo is separate. You have a separate loo, your vanity, and then the shower. Now this is a, a tub and shower in this room. And then uh, over here you have the beds. Now this looks very similar, almost I would say exactly to what we have in the other room uh, with the two beds and the decor and everything. And this I believe is a poolside view so we'll take a little peek over here and this is what a poolside view looks like this is the pool we're going to show you in a moment the one with the pool and the lazy river will be down there in just a moment uh, oh you can see a little bit of the volcano a little bit of the volcano from this view uh, so here's another angle of the room and I'm going to pivot over here and show you the walk-in closet this one has as Nikki ducks out of the way doing some IG work for me. This is the walk-in closet. Look, I'm inside the closet and there's the safe. So, there you go. Well, and then I think 
think the couch is a pull out and you can close oh, yeah. the door. Yes, the couch is a pull out, I know that. Uh, but for uh, a little more privacy, you get to shut the door there. That's awesome. Nice action shot, Nikki. <laughs> oh, very good. Good thing I brought you along. Thank you so much to Gwen for allowing us into the room and to show it to you guys. And now, on to the pool. Look at her go, using two phones. <laughs> wow, you're talented. Hush. And by the way, if you like this t-shirt, I do sell those. Just visit buyrixflix.com. You'll find it somewhere. We are now in the pool area, so mask off. Mask free. <laughs> <laughs> First thing I want to point out though, are the two different types of buildings. I'm gonna show you the towers. Now the towers are the one that you can really get the volcano view with. Yes. So these right here are primarily gonna give you a pool view, and then there's the tower, where the other side of the tower, you get the volcano view. Now obviously, if you're on this side of the tower right there, you're just gonna look down onto the uh, pool area. And like I said earlier in the video, two pool areas. This is the one right outside of the Bayline Diner. Yes. So the other pool is right outside of the lobby. And with this pool area, you get a fire pit. Over here, this is the, kind of the beach section of the pool. Sand and lounge chairs. And I said earlier, the big difference between the two pools, besides the location, would be the pool by the lobby has the water slide, whereas this pool has the lazy river. And this is the pool you get over here by the, uh, the Bayline Diner. I'm trying to stay back a little bit from people, so I'll just use my zoom a little more. I think the max is uh, depth is five feet with this pool. So five feet over here. Here is the hideaway bar and grill. You get some drinks, get some snacks. We just had some big thunder, so they're kind of closing down the pool area. But I do want to give you a quick shot of the lazy river before we go. So what you do, you kind of enter over there by the waterfall and it goes around this way. Just does a loop around. Now the other side of the uh, foliage there. And then it uh, comes around back to the waterfall. So not large, but is uh, you know a relaxing little lazy river. And now let's head back into our room before the lightning strikes Nikki. Uh, I mean, I'm taller, it might go for me first. Let's hope so. <laughs> I'm saving you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, talk about time to relax. Yes. I think I walked more today <laughs> than when we are in the parks. Really? I've been walking, I've been walking. <laughs> oh man. So I, I worked out before we even came here. <laughs> How far did you walk before we got here? Seven miles. Oh good lord. <laughs> I should not be complaining then. Exactly. Uh, but there you go. I think this is, that's the gist of what uh, Cabana Bay is like. It's awesome. We I, really like it. I think we could say it's our favorite. Yeah. The theming is amazing. You know, the amenities are really cool, you know. So, yeah. I mean, it's just a great place to bring your family. Now, we don't stay at the luxury hotels. No. I mean, because we live right down the road. I don't want to spend whatever, three, four, five hundred dollars. I don't know how much they are <laughs> when my house is right down the road. But we will stay here. Mm -hmm. And I think as far as the, the theming of this and the value you get. And the view. And the view. And yeah, and just <laughs> like the access to Volcano Bay. This really is our favorite one. Yeah, yeah. Highly recommend, especially if you're gonna go to Volcano Bay. You get early park mm -hmm. admission, and it's right there. You can walk to it. You don't have to grab a bus or anything, so it's like, it's perfect. That's awesome. I can't wait to show you that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing is, I thought I might combine the two videos, but I think I have a lot of footage with just the resort. Yes. So, you're gonna have to stay tuned for part two <laughs> of this series, Cabana Bay, Volcano Bay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, and with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Come to Universal Orlando. Hello, new Flicksters. 